Adam hol ge vår två ge vår guise på amen. Dear faithful, as in our church, Easter celebrated for 40 days, allow me to tap into the rich well of Armenian church fathers and serve you these inspiring words of St. Gregory of Narek about the personal meaning of Easter for us. He writes, At this luminous and life-giving morning of your resurrection, O Lord, may I again become green and blossom and send up shoots of spiritual goodness that will never dry out. So thinking of this bouquet of stimulating words of the saint, let us welcome our risen Lord and implore him to awaken us from our slumber, to pull us out from the swamps of our mediocrity, to soften up our hardened hearts and brighten our darkened minds to be able to think like he did, work with his hands in our homes and our communities. Dear believers, I invite you all today to broaden the meaning of resurrection in your minds. Do not consider it only a process of going from death to life, but rather allegorically an occasion of renewal and regeneration. As St. Gregory of Narek had said, this Easter tide, let us strive to be rejuvenated and be a new person. And as such, look at the world with a renewed and fresh outlook. Revamp our spiritual life and finally find a new capacity for service and devotion to God. Dear faithful, the core of the teaching of Christian Church is nothing but regeneration. As Jesus has suggested in the Gospel of St. John, you must be born new. This is the only way to be part of his kingdom. And yes, the Christian life is an ongoing and daily journey to renew the old to get rid of the polluted worldly thinking. Because, as St. Paul suggests, we have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2, 16. Which means that no matter how difficult are the circumstances of our life, there is always a place to restart. We should not lose heart, but have a positive outlook and search for solutions. 
Maybe you needed to apologize to somebody for a long, long time, but have hesitated? Then go do it now. Maybe there is an area in your life which needs to be straightened up. Please stop procrastinating. Take action now. There is always first step and that is where you must begin. Please do not crawl in your swamps, but use your God-given wings and soar to clear heights of excellence. Brothers and sisters, our physical world where we live has survived for centuries and centuries because it has in its bosom a miracle called spring. The good news is that we all, the followers of Christ, have the seed of spring planted in our hearts. Remember, God created us all in His image giving us the potential of being bigger than ourselves, opening our life to new possibilities and being capable always seeing new summits. We need to be confident that God who made us also can remake us. Therefore, if you want truly to experience the miracle of resurrection, start working on your personal resurrection. Cast the old away and start building the new. Rise and proclaim to the world, it is not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And if Christ lives in you, then you are a new creation, and you ought to proclaim out loud. I am not a problem maker, but problem solver. I am not a headache, but a healer. I am not a troublemaker, but a peacemaker. Because Christ is risen, I can rise above my swamps, and it is with this kind of conviction that I proclaim to the world, saying, Christ is risen from the dead. Blessed be the resurrection of Christ. Christos ariav imere lots, ortiale arutiune Christosi, avitianes avidenis. Amen.